Let's use the wave equation to solve a couple problems. Let's take the first case of you just chilling on the beach. So here's the ocean. Here's you. And this is sort of the sand. And let's say you have a friend. He's out here swimming in the ocean. Let's say that the distance between the the troughs is 10 meters, therefore the wavelength we know is 10 meters. And you start counting the waves. And you notice that the period of the waves crashing on shore is 5 seconds. And you wonder, what is the speed of these waves? Well, we can use the wave equation to find out. We know the wavelength is just 10 meters. And we can find the frequency. We know the period is 5 seconds. That tells us that the time between waves are, is 5 seconds. And therefore, the frequency must be 0.2 hertz. That is, two, that is, one fifth of a wave is passing every second. For the more mathematically inclined, use the inverse relationship. And therefore, we get 1 over 5 and 1 over seconds for the units. 1 fifth is 0.2. 1 over a second is a hertz. Plugging that in here for frequency, we get 0.2 hertz. 0.2 times 10 is 2, and that's in meters per second. Because don't forget, a hertz is the same thing as 1 over seconds. Very good. Let's take another example. And let's take a red, red-ish, red-ish light. I'm going to put it, bring it a little bit into the green spectrum and give it a wavelength of 600 nanometers. So it's probably more of a yellowish light. So we want to find the frequency. Great, you say. No problem. I'll use the wave equation. The wave equation tells me that V equals lambda F. Great. I know the wavelength, but I don't know the other two. I can't solve this problem. Yes, you can, because it's a light wave, and all light travels at the same speed. 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's the speed of light. And it gets the symbol C, since it's a very special speed. Now, plugging into our equation, we get the speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. The speed of light, we know, is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That equals the wavelength, which is 600 nanometers. I'll convert that to meters, 6.0 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. And then that is multiplied by the frequency. Now to solve for what we want, we just divide both sides by the wavelength. 6 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. And what you do to one side, you always have to do to the other side. Cancel, cancel. And here, the meters cancels with the meters there. And a couple things to note. Well, first of all, 3 divided by 6 is 0.5. And when the, the, when the 10 to the 8th is divided by 10 to the minus 7th, this guy pops up and becomes a plus 7. So we end up getting 7 plus 8 is 15. So 0.5 times 10 to the 15th with units of 1 over seconds equals the frequency. And if I bring this guy forward one, then that becomes 14. And I get a final answer of frequency for a 600 nanometer wavelength is equal to 5 times 10 to the 14th hertz.